Hello my friends. This time the video is from the new location. We moved uh, into a new house so I have definitely more room for the home cockpit and uh, today I just want to yeah, show you my first attempts to connect uh, the uh, fidgets card. Um, here you can see the fidgets card. Uh, before I start with the fidgets card, uh, I want to introduce you the uh, overhead panel from uh, Pole Dragon Net. I ordered this uh, yeah some weeks ago, so it arrived. And um, just to give you an impression, I think for the price, the quality is uh, okay. I just found some small problems with. I just, for example, I just got um, only red of these uh, switch covers so because on the real overhead of a 737 uh, you will find um, also black ones um, next problem was uh, that the um, the holes uh, for some switches uh, have not been covered so uh, if, if I want to apply some um, uh, backlighting the light would shine through here these small gaps around the switches and so I had to mask the uh, panels and to um, um, put some paint on it you can you can see it here and uh, you will also find some um, informations about this on my blog um, well the overall build quality of the overhead panel is quite okay and uh, for that price you get really good a good piece of hardware. So, okay, now back to the topic with the fidgets card. Um, uh, this is the first time I connected a fidgets card to uh, check out um, the, um, yeah, the, um, the uh, quality of this card uh, to use it on the overhead panel. And uh, I just connected two LEDs just out of the box without any resistors. Uh, just connected it. Uh, you have to plug in one uh, USB cable. You have to plug in the power source, and uh, the computer recognized that this device is connected. So now let's go to the um, ProSim software. So basically, uh, in the uh, ProSim software, you have to uh, just here enable the fidgets fidget support where is it here so just make a, a check mark here and um, you have to restart it uh, you have to restart the uh, ProSim software and after that you can select um, the indicator panel here and uh, the fidgets card is recognized by ProSim of course if you make the check mark and a restart ProSim I also had to update to the newest version and um, for example I uh, just um, what are the what are the connectors I have oh I APU correct 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 so here I just um, said okay APU gen off pass is uh, is assigned to fidgets to the fidgets card and uh, here output 8 uh, this is uh, APU generator off bus and I have the uh, APU maintenance uh, this is uh, uh, assigned to output 9 and here as you can see on the fidget card uh, with low light well it's assigned to output 8 and 9 so okay and now if I go to the ProSim uh, panel software and uh, I check the uh, APU maintenance click here yeah this is a, it's a light check and I go back to the fidgets card you can see the light is going up and uh, what is the next one I think it was a generator off bus so you're just this, uh, for checking here and for checking here. Okay, so um, 
As a summary, I think the fidget card is a very good solution to uh, use it in uh, for uh, cabling the overhead panel and um, I will do so. And I have some uh, good news. I just ordered one week ago an original 737 throttle quadrant which uh, will arrive here hopefully next week and then you will get some new informations. Goodbye.